2013 Hyundai Elantra with the P0365. Stick around, let me show you guys how I use the lap scope and a test light to figure out what's wrong with this car. Let me show you guys how I use the test light to diagnose a P0365 camshaft circuit code on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Let's take a look. Because this is a circuit code, this is my intake cam, and this should be my exhaust cam, but we're not getting any signal coming out of the exhaust camshaft sensor. With my test light going to ground, if I tap the signal, I should be getting a light coming on, and I should be getting a waveform on my actual scope, and I'm getting neither of them as I tap it here. If I tap it right here at the engine computer, if you notice, I'm getting an actual light, and on my lap scope, I'm actually getting a waveform. So as I tap my test light on the PCM, notice how I'm able to create a square wave on my yellow waveform, just like a cam sensor should be able to. My next test, my test light is to ground. So my red lead here, I'm gonna back probe and I should get my test light to come on. So that means I have a power feed to my actual sensor. And this white wire here in the center is my ground. Now I'm moving my test light over to a power feed. And if I go to the center wire, my light turns on. So this means that my ground feed is normal. So I have power and ground to the actual sensor, but I'm not getting a signal coming out of the sensor and reaching the PCM. My next step is I'm gonna go ahead and set an overlay from my signal at the sensor to my PCM here. And then I'm gonna start the car and see how my waveform looks on my lap scope. Would you look at that? There's my intake, there's my exhaust. I'm running an overlaid wire and now I'm getting a signal on both. So this is just confirming that we have an open wire from the camshaft sensor up to the PCM. So that's it guys. That's how easy it is to diagnose this P0365 on this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. The whole video is gonna be on YouTube. So you guys wanna watch the whole process on how I did it. This was a condensed version of how I did this whole process. It only took me about 10 minutes to get it done. Don't be afraid of using a test light as long as you know how to use it. And don't be afraid to use a lab scope to verify what it's actually saying. This is why for me, I always say the scope doesn't lie. I know you guys learned from this. Make sure you guys like it, share it, and leave a comment so that other technicians can learn from it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.